In this video lecture, I will explain you complete designing of the building by using SAP 2000 software with the help of the bracing system. Okay, so bas basically bracings are helpful for designing of the earthquake resistant structure. So in my previous video, I was explained complete designing process and step by step procedure for uh, multi story building design by using SAP 2000 software under the considerations of the gravity loading condition system. In this video, I will explain you uh, how to define the uh, bracing system and how to apply those respective bracing system for the building structure and how to consider the seismic loading condition and how to design the building structure according to SAP 2000 software. So for that just I am selecting my SAP 2000 software here. So here I am selecting the file option new modeling option. So in this we need to select the 3D frame models initially and just I am selecting the number of the stories will be consisting of 6 numbers and each story height will be consisting of 3 meter and number of base in x direction will be consisting of let us take as 3 and uh, bay width will be approximately 3 meter and number of base in y direction will be consisting of 4 and which is having uh, approximately the dimensions is uh, 3 let us take so again after this we need to assign the beam size and column size so for that we have to click on this place mark option so click on the new property option so for initially we need to select the property name as concrete which is comes under the rectangular property so here i'm first uh, i'm selecting the beam let us consider which is having the dimensions is 0 0.35 cross 0. Point, uh, let us take 35 so here i'm selecting the depth of the beam which is consisting of 0 0.35 again this uh, width is also consisting of 0 0.35 select the material option so we have to define the new material uh, according to the indian standard system so for that just I am selecting the place mark option here and we have to define the uh, grade of the concrete. So for that just I am selecting add new material according to Indian standard codal provision for the concrete. So let us consider M30 gradle concrete provision. In the same process just I am selecting the rebar section which is of 500 grade steel here. Okay. Then after that we have to define the steel property for the respected bracings. So for that just I am adding the new, new material just I am adding here select the material type will be of steel section just i'm taking fe 250 grid steel click on ok okay so after that we have to click on ok option so now we can see here we have to select the concrete reinforcement option according to the beams only okay design of beams so here we have to enter the value 0 0.035 and this respected value is also 0 0.035 and longitudinal bars and confinemental bars is consisting of hysd bars okay so click on ok Again, we have to click on OK. Now we have to define the column size. Add new property here. Select the rectangular section. Just I am selecting the column here, which is having 0 0.35 cross. Uh, let us consider 0 0.45. So now I am selecting this depth will be consisting of approximately 0 0.45. Width will be consisting of approximately 0 0.35. And select the material will be comes under M30 gradle provision, concrete reinforcement. Here we have to select the HYSD bars of 500, 500. So here I am selecting the uh, spacing option will be of 35 or else the higher dimensions will be consisting of 45 here. So that's why just I am selecting 10 percentage of the higher dimensions and just I am selecting the longitudinal bar two direction which is consisting of three bars here and this respected other direction will be of four bars here. So here I am selecting the uh, diameter of the bar according to my assumption 16 mm diameter and this respected confinemental bar also 12 mm diameter. So click on reinforcement to be checked click on OK. So now we can see it was done with selection of the reinforcement click on OK option again we have to click on OK. Now we have to select the uh, columns option from this respected input. So we have to click on OK so that it will load the complete 3D model for the building structure here like this. Now we can see this is the plan view and this is a 3D view for the building structure. Okay. So this is the plinth level. So again we have to add the uh, slab section for the respected ground story for the click on define option section property select the area section select uh, your shells option add a new property option just i'm selecting the slab which is comes under 150 mm thickness so here i'm selecting the property which is of 0 0.15 thickness 0 0.15 thickness click on select your material name is m30 gradle provision click on ok so now we have to click on ok so now we can see this is the z, uh, z height which is of 6 meter so now we have to assign the slab for that click on uh, quick draw areas option here drag to the respected model here again in the same process we have to go to the top story again one more story section so now we have to drag to the respected uh, selection of the uh, slab members 
Now we have to assign the slab member for the another story. So for that, just I'm selecting the selection option here. Just I'm drawing here like this. Again in the same process, just I'm selecting the one more story. Just I'm drawing here like this. In the same process, just I'm going to the one more story here. Just I'm drawing the slab sections here like this. Again I'm going to the last story. Just I'm drawing to the respected model here like this. So after that, we have to see this model in 3D rendering view, realistic view option. So for that, just we have to click on this right mark option. Select the general option here, object to fill options here. Apply to all windows, click on apply option, click on OK option. Okay. So after that, we have to uh, add the bracing system for the building. For that, go to click on define option, section properties, which is comes under the frame sections only. Okay. So initially we need to import the data which is comes under your respected steel designing sections. Select your import new property. So let us consider the steel section. You can consider any one of the section from this uh, property. This time selecting wide flange section. So you have to select the property according to your codal provision standard. This time selecting here as India standard system. Click on open. So that it will import the data here for the respected section here like this. Just I am selecting my ISWB 300 section for the assignment of the steel bracing system. Just click on OK. So after that we have to select the material property according to FE 250 grid. This is important one. So click on OK option. After that we have to click on OK option. Now we have to select this uh, view for the respected uh, property. So for that we have to click on the edit option in order to assign the bracing system. Just I am selecting the uh, view option not edit option. Click on 2D view option. So you need to select the plane will be of X, Z plane. Okay. X, Z plane, which is having Y direction will be of minus six here. Okay. So click on apply option so that it will select here like this. So now we have to select the assignment of the bracing system. It will be consisting of X type bracings here like this. So firstly, we have to click on this particular option so that it will open up uh, assignment option here like this. Select the section according to ISWB section. So bracing type will be consisting of V type, inverted V, concentric backward, concentric forward. So here in this case, just I am selecting only the X type bracing system. Just I am selecting this point. Again, 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 I am selecting this point. Lastly, I am selecting this point. In the same process, we have to select the uh, 6 meter distance in order to select the opposite side view. So now we can see the red color mark will be moved here. So I am selecting this point, this point, again I am selecting this point. In the same process, we have to select the XY plane, minus 4.5 here, just I am selecting here, click on apply. Now we can see it will select here like this. Now I am selecting bracings here, just I am selecting this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, this point. You can select the assignment of the bracings according to your consideration. This is the normal uh, section consideration just I am taking for the building structure here. So again in the same process we have to select the XY plane which is having plus 4.5 meter for the considerations of the right hand side view. Just I am selecting here, just I am selecting here, assigning here like this. So after assigning all this respected property we have to click on OK option. Now I will show you this particular model with a 3D rendering view, realistic view option. So for that just I am selecting the uh, display option which is of right mark option here. General option, extrude option, apply to all windows, click on apply option. Okay, so click on okay. Now you can see this is a building model which is consisting of X type bracing system for the different uh, of floors. Okay, so here now you can see it was consisting of X type bracing systems here like this. So after assigning all these properties we need to assign the load cases. For that go to define option. Select the load patterns option. It will be consisting of dead loading condition. Now we have to select the live loading condition according to considerations. Click on add. Now we have to select the earthquake load which is of X direction condition system. We have to select as per the quick of IS uh, uh, codal provision system which is of 1893-2016. Again in the same process we have to select the Y direction condition system. Click on add. Now I am selecting wind load which is in X direction as per wind load direction system. We need to select as per IS uh, uh, 875 2015. Click on add. Again, I am selecting wind load in Y direction. Click on add option. Select with quick load in X direction. Select the modify lateral load option. So in this case, initially we need to select the per code value which is comes under the seismic coefficient factor. So here I am selecting high seismic zone which is of 0 0.36 value and medium soil condition system. So rest of the value just I am selecting same. Click on OK. 
Next, I'm selecting earthquake quick Y, modify lateral load, Y direction condition, click on OK. Select wind index, modify lateral load. Next, I'm taking the wind load which is of 44, which is comes under the terrain category 3. So, which is acting 0 degrees angle uh, wind load direction, click on OK. Next, I'm selecting here, modify lateral load. This is a 44 option, terrain category will be of 3 and the angle will be of 90 degrees here. Sorry, 90 degrees here. Okay, click on OK option. Then after that, we have to click on OK. Now we have to assign the load cases. In order to assign the sulphate condition system, just I'm selecting all the building. Go to assign, join point load, select the forces. Select load which is comes under 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, add to existing loading condition system, click on apply. Then after that, we have to apply the wall loading condition system. Okay. So basically the all wall load condition system will be combination of 24.3 kN per meter intensity for the external, internal and parapet. So for that, so for that initially we need to select the beams, select option, property, frame section, select the beam option here, click on select option, close option, assign option, frame line load. So now we have to select the gravity loading condition system. Okay. Otherwise you can directly select distributed loading condition system. Okay. So here we have to enter the value which is of minus 24.3 add to existing loading condition system. Click on apply. Now we have to apply the slab load which is of comes under the floor load condition system. So for that we have to select option, select property which is of area section comes under the slab section. So let us consider go to assign area load. Let us take here. And you have to select the uniform load, which is comes under the load of 1.5 kN per meter square. Add to existing loading condition system here. Click on apply option. Okay. Then after that, we have to select the uh, load, which is comes under this particular uh, uh, lie loading condition system. So for that, for, yeah, again, we have to select the slab section. Select the lie load option here. And you have to enter the load will be of 3 kN per meter square. Click on apply option. Then we have to click on OK option. Now we have to go to the bottom story. So for that we have to select the X, Y view option here. So here I am selecting the node points. So we need to select the actually the node point for assigning the support condition. Next I am selecting all the node points here. Okay. Go to assign joint point. Select the restraints option. Select fixer support condition system. Click on apply option. Then we have to click on OK option for the assignment. Now we have to analyze the structure according to IS codal provision system. So for that go to click on the analyze option here. So before that we need to assign the load combinations, go to define option, select the load combinations option, click on add default design combination as per concrete frame design, click on ok. Then after that we have to add the steel design combinations also, why because we are adding here steel bracing system, click on add option, ok. So after that we have to analyze the structure, click on analyze, set analysis option, uh, click on ok option here, click go to analyze option, create uh, analysis model here. Again, go to analyze option, set load cases to run option here. Click on the run now option so that it will do the analysis process. Before that, it will ask you to save the model. Next time, selecting the model, SAP 2000. Let us consider. Next time, taking steel bracings option here. Steel bracings, steel. Click on save option so that it will do the analysis process for the building structure consideration according to your considered load cases, according to your considered specifications. Then after that, I will show you the deflection diagram. Now you can see this is the deflection diagram. Initially, I will deselect this particular option from these parameters. So here I am selecting the right mark option on the top. Next I am selecting here. General, select standard one, apply to all windows and uh, fill objects, apply to all windows here. So that it will show you the deflection diagram here like this. In order to see the shear force diagram, bending moment diagram for the particular structure, just we have to go to the display option on the top. Show. Uh, frame uh, show forces stresses here select the stresses select any one of the load you can consider according to your consideration let us take earthquake load select shear to two option click on apply option so that it will display a shear force diagram for the particular structure again in the same process you can change the load condition system to dead load condition system just i'm selecting here click on apply option okay so now it will show you the uh, shear force shear x uh, to two direction values okay then after that i will show you the values which is comes under the bending moment actually it is not showing any kind of the values here because the less amount of the dimensions for the 3d view on the left hand side if you want to see that particular load cases and uh, uh, shear force diagram you can uh, view on the right hand side view here okay so here i'm selecting earthquake load again again and click on apply option select the force now you can see this is the force shear force bending moment diagram click on 3 3 option this is the bending moment diagram axial load diagram here so this is the torsion diagram 
So after the analysis process is completed, we need to design the structure. Okay. So further go to click on design, concrete frame design, select view revised preferences here. Okay. You can select the design code according to IS 456 2000 codal provision standard system. Just I am selecting Indian standard code. Again, I am selecting design, concrete frame design. So you can directly select the design start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected members, which is of beam sections and column sections for the building structure. Then after that, I will show you how to design the bra uh, bracing system under the steel member section. Now you can see it was done with the designing section. If you want to see any kind of the reinforcement value for the particular beam or column, you can select any one of the beam or column. Okay, right click on it. So it will be consisting of summary, which is comes under that particular uh, reinforcement values. Again, it will be consisting of your respective flexure details for that particular column and shear details for that particular column. You can print the output which is obtained uh, from these respected sections. Okay. Again, in the same process, if you want to display the beam reinforcement design, you can select any one of the beam from this property. Just I am selecting here, right click on it, click on summary here. So now we can see it will be consisting of complete reinforcement design results which is comes under the column. If you want to design a st uh, steel member section, you can go to design option steel select view revisor preferences we have to select here as is codal provision system which is of 800 steel provision code okay so here i'm selecting indian standard codal provision system which is comes under the is 800 2007 so you can click on okay again click on design steel frame design so you have to click on the start designing check for the steel members now you can see it is checking for the steel members for the building members okay so you can uh, click on any one of the member here. So you can directly right click on it. Click on the summary option. It will be consisting of complete reinforcement design results for that particular members. Okay. So this is the complete process of analysis and designing of uh, steel bracing building by using a SAP 2000 software. If you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.